Hello everyone, and welcome to game number two in our best of five series, first two wins for our FFA tournament between Qubit32, Blues, PB Head, and Soren Johnson. Soren Johnson taking game number one very effectively. Not so easily, it was a bit of a near thing at the end, Soren letting his debt creep up quite a bit. Definitely, I like the term playing with fire for that. Sitting on about, his opponent has about a 95% when you push the 100% is not particularly comfortable, but he got it done nonetheless. Alright. Somebody has decided to point out the fact that there are a double high carbon tiles here ready to go. And Soren decides he wants to be the first one to bite on those. He is going to get both of them. And now he's pushing a bit aggressively for some aluminum. I doubt he's going to get that. Should have likely just taken the medium and run with it, but uh, Blues is going to cut him off from the high that he was after. Soren with two high carbon tiles, though. That's all the carbon he's going to need for the time being, and there are no underground nukes available this game, so it's going to be hard to punish that very effectively, except with maybe some power surges. So we'll have to see how that goes. Everybody else has gotten founded. Blue's selecting to go as expansive with a quick found. He's moved straight into iron and aluminum. Gonna try and push into steel as best as he can so he can hurry on up to HQ level 2. Let's see. PB Head was the next to found after that. He just elected to go for robotic, take some iron himself. Which could work out okay, although you can see he is struggling for the steel. Having found it after Blue's, it's definitely causing him some problems. But he will have several geotherms right next to him he is in dry ice as well so even though things look a little bit weird for pb head water and silicon not too far away it could still work out for him but he's gonna have to work hard and make sure he knows what he's doing with this kind of awkward territory he's set himself up for cubit on the other hand went last to found as expansive and he went for his very typical last to found strategy of aluminum and geotherm. You see Cubit do this quite a bit, actually. I've seen him do it before. He's just going to be relying on that geotherm in order to actually make him money in the moment. He's already goon squatted it as he knows how important it is that this stay protected and not be hit by a mutiny. A mutiny on that would absolutely ruin him for basically the entire game. So he chooses to just spend the cash that he needs to, getting that goon squad in place making sh absolutely certain that that geotherm will continue to make him money and this should allow him to actually push forward this game it's going to be a struggle but the geotherm will continually make more and more money and he is set up in a position where he can potentially even get a hold of extra claims or push to an upgrade and then get down solar panels to continue making money from power so he should be able to pull into it with that play soren has pushed HQ level 2. I believe he was the first one there. He took strong silicon. He took strong water. Exactly the kind of thing you expect from a scavenger hitting HQ level 2. And he just took one glass furnace. He should be able to use that to get to HQ level 3 without too much difficulty. As you can see, he's already pushed into the glass he requires. He's very close on the aluminum front. So he's making good progress there. PB Head has gotten to HQ level 2 as well. His geotherm, however, got cut off by Cubit. Cubit selecting to go for another geotherm and says, I want that one. PB Head getting punished for not taking it at HQ level 2. You have to expect that players of this caliber are not going to let you get away with having those extra adjacency bonuses and that potential superconductor if they can avoid it. So Cubit actually does choose to pick up an extra claim in order to commit to that geotherm. And when Cubit hits HQ level 2, he'll have five claims to utilize immediately. And he may be able to get something done with that. We'll just have to see how everything goes for him. As he sits here making more and more money per second on power. He does have the upgrade available if he wants it. But all those resources are a bit expensive. So maybe he'll elect to go for something else. More and more geotherms flying out from everywhere. Looks like both of the targets wanted this one in particular. But that means Soren, I believe, is the one going to be left in the dust. As Blues is much faster, he's much closer, so he is going to take this uh, geothermal plant away from Soren. And Soren's going to have to find his power elsewhere this game. Already does have one down over here, so he should be alright long term. And of course, we get a superconductor auction. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright. 
So Cubit's put in an interesting position by this, as he would like it. He definitely would like it, but when he takes it, he's basically committing to actual cash for this. He basically has to pay cash for this auction, and it's likely worth it to him. But it's worth a lot to PB Head as well. And PB Head, he's not necessarily dependent on his power to actually make money for him. He has other options right now. Cubit doesn't. So PB Head much more willing to push very, very high on that auction. Also likely feeling a bit vindictive. Most of the players here can get a bit emotional at times when it comes to those things. And so... Not too surprising to see PB Head go ahead and grab that up for 32000 We also all know by now that he is very aggressive on auctions. And he will pay a lot of money for them most of the time. He's going to use that last little tile for a wind turbine. I like it. That's kind of cool. A solid almost two power per second from a wind turbine guaranteed is nothing bad. And maybe a dust storm will hit. You never know. Alright, meanwhile, people have, everybody's pushed HQ level 3 very effectively. Soren did commit his last tile just to a solar panel instead of a geotherm. Not what he wanted, but it will work out. Soren also very, very happy to see a glass shortage right now, as he's the only one in glass production. Blue's choosing instead to go after some reactors, PB Head moving into food, and Cubit, of course, is just not there yet. And so that's going to be very, very nice for Soren and should allow him to even more effectively push through this game if he would like to. If he chooses, he could just hit HQ level 4 at any moment by selling down glass, and he will. All right, glass immediately frozen after that. No big surprise. Soren's going to have to make sure that he's using the black market effectively from here on out. This should have been goon squatted. This should have been goon squatted. The power surge should not have taken him like that, but it was not. There's really no excuse for that. And Soren is going to have to pay the price. We'll see what he can do with the black market from here. All right, Blues has also managed to push to HQ level 4. So once again, these two players leading the way in the FFA. All right, PB had not... Nope, that was Cubit. Cubit managing to push to HQ level 3. Still running behind. Power not making him a whole lot of money at this point. He is going to be dependent on this glass production in order to keep moving forward. And moving into reactors instead of steel, definitely a bit of a risky move, but it should work out all right. We'll just have to see how it goes long term. Dust Storm definitely going to be hurting PB Head at the moment in terms of his food production, which I'm sure he would like. At least his wind turbine's making 115 per second, certainly not a bad thing for PB Head. Blues has gotten into glass himself as well. You do expect to see a lot of people on glass by now, and this is why Soren should have goon squatted his glass furnaces. He made some money off of that shortage, but he could have made so much more if even one of these had survived that freeze. The black market is gone Not a strong play. Not a strong play out of Soren. But congratulations to whoever hit that power surge. All right. Let's see. Was Cubit sitting on a large amount of food? Did I see that correctly? Somebody was sitting on a large amount of food. And it looks like has sold it down at this point. It is the kind of thing that Cubit would do, just trying to punish his opponents. Regardless, PB Head, the one actually was making food, chose to move out of it with the Dust Storm, but hasn't done anything with the tiles just yet, so I don't like that. Alright, here we go. Getting some dry ice down. It's going to be decent oxygen and carbon production, but also affected by the Dust Storm. I don't like that move. That feels like a weak decision to me out of PB Head. The Dust Storm is now faded, and these are making $88 a second. But what if they were just still farms? Wouldn't have spent all that extra time, all that extra glass. I think a questionable decision, certainly, right now. Cubit's going to be okay with this glass price rising. He can push to another upgrade, and he can very easily move into strong silicon production adjacent to his base. I wouldn't be surprised to see him do that now. And so this glass price getting a bit out of control is not a problem for him trying to force other people to transition while he just stays where he is. Both Blues and Soren have managed to push to HQ level 5 at this point. Soren is choosing just to go for some basic strong production. He is getting mutinied a bit right now and returning the same, it looks like, so... We'll just have to see how that goes down long term, whereas Blues is also doing a very, very similar play. Just a lot of basic strong production. Blues being the expansive player, 
I do give him a slight edge in that. Soren has moved into one engineering lab, which is currently sitting idle. Blues has moved into a patent office. And I don't know exactly what he'll be aiming for first. There are a vast array of strong options here for patents, as I don't believe too many of them have been taken by PB Head just yet. We're going to check on that and make sure. Superconductor, virtual reality, and carbon scrubbing are all gone already. Cubit also in a patent office. This is very aggressive out of these two players, and I don't know if I agree with this decision at all. They are setting themselves up for failure by going for a patent office this far behind. And we'll just have to see if Soren and Blues can punish them appropriately. Silicon Auction, that's an interesting one. I just, I don't know how to feel about that tile right now. I like it. I've decided I like it. It's an amusing tile, if nothing else. I don't know if it's actually worth the amount it's being paid for it right now. Cubit's already producing a very large amount of silicon. That price is going to be dropping pretty rapidly, and it has to be shipped a very long distance. On top of that, Sorn himself is the one kind of maintaining that silicon price right now. With his glass production, maybe it'll be okay, but it's not necessarily the correct move, I think, right now. 20000 for that is very, very expensive. And if he had just simply been playing with his glass furnaces a bit more effectively, i.e. scrapping them and making them the chem labs yeah, they are no, now, I think he would have been in a much better spot. Wouldn't have been forced to pay 20000 for that. Hopefully it'll work out for him. But as you can see, Cubit actually sitting on a large amount of silicon right now, making that price appear higher than it actually is. So a good play out of Cubit to kind of punish that a little bit out of Soren. Alright, patent offices. Who's got what so far? Cubit sitting on nanotech and virtual reality, both reasonably strong. I do like the virtual reality decision from Cubit in this particular game. Because he was making money from power early, power has fallen off. His advantage is still that he has almost no debt. And so he takes that and he says, I am going to build a pleasure dome with virtual reality because it makes a ridiculous amount of money for me. And I've already set myself up in a position to make money from it, not pay down debt. So that's a very strong play out of Qubit. Definitely something people need to think about when they're going for those early power plays. There's a transition like that one. Literally everyone has a patent office down right now, and we have no scientists in this game. Soren wants perpetual motion. PB Head, more interested in slant drilling. Blues, also after slant drilling, is going to be the one to get there before PB Head, but Cubit is going to beat Blues. So a lot of people about to be very disappointed in just a moment here, as Cubit goes ahead and takes slant drilling away from them. And now he has gone ahead and moved into teleportation. PB Head is on That's thinking right, machines. On Blues is looking at nothing. And Soren is still after perpetual motion. Very awkward game. Very awkward game all around. Soren has gotten a bit aggressive on Blues, a bit aggressive on PB Head. He's going to need to make a decision before too long. As his debt has started piling up fairly significantly, sitting on just that one geotherm for most of this game, most of this game has just been sitting on one geotherm, so his power debt and his fuel debt are getting absolutely ridiculously out of control. I would have loved to see him pick up teleportation. I think that was absolutely necessary for him this game. But instead, he elected not to, and I think he's paying the price with his current debt total. Cubit, on the other hand, has identified teleportation as... No, he's... Is Cubit? Yeah, Cubit. I need to click here in order to get the observation. He has identified teleportation as reasonably strong for him. He's not paying near so much fuel debt, but fuel itself has gotten out of control. So, still a strong decision, I think, out of Cubit. As you can see, Cubit and PB have both managed to get to HQ level 5 by now. They're not completely set up there yet, still have claims going out. Still getting everything constructed, but they are at HQ level 5, which makes me wonder what it is Soren and Blues have been doing this entire time that they haven't pushed to enough money to actually get anything done. Soren's only sitting on about 15,000. Blues also sitting on only about 25,000, but he has a goon squatted offworld online. It is launching fuel, which is a massive mistake right now. Ignoring this water price. This water price is insane. We never went over off-worlds this game. I don't know if we even covered Black Market. Too much has been going on between these players. But this $387 off-world price for water is insane. That is so high for water. As all of you out there should know, that's like a $350,000 
Ah, man, I mean, $350 difference, right? $350 difference right there is what you're looking at. That is such a ridiculous amount of money. Such a ridiculous amount of money that could be getting made. Instead, it's launching fuel. Very depressing indeed. Let's take a look at the rest of these prices. We are looking at fuel as a strong-ish price at 47000 Everything else a bit weak. Glass is at 34000 So it's really water and fuel you're looking at this game. And water should definitely be the option getting launched at this moment. That could be a very big deal as Blues and Soren have gotten themselves locked into a fight. It's pretty much going to be one or the other of them taking, you know, taking each other down. And so we're just going to have to see who comes out on top there. But losing out on all this money for Blues is definitely not something that's acceptable at this point. Not something he can be affording. Cubit, meanwhile, has pushed himself quite nicely back into the game, doing the very standard, I'm Cubit and I make very aggressive plays that I can't really afford, but as long as nobody punishes me for them, I'm going to win the game. So that's what I expect to see at this point, honestly, is Cubit ending up taking this game, but we'll just see how it goes from here. As you can see, he's managed to secure all of his own stock, he has no debt, he has great patents. And he's got engineering labs functional at this point. Pro should be, should be, running behind Sorens, but not by too much, he'll catch up quickly with the two labs. Let's see how everybody else's are doing. Blues is currently looking at only six techs, the rest not researching anything. Food shortage is running. Not going to get a great benefit out of that, but it is something he can short at least. And Blues has bought all of his own stock up. I definitely agree with that decision when you're in D levels of debt. PB Head, meanwhile, he's got a little bit of tech for himself, working on keeping up with the everybody else on those two engineering labs. He should be just fine. Hard to call. Hard to call an advantage besides Cubit right now. I still think Cubit is absolutely in the strongest position in this game. Especially with Blues not using his off-world market correctly with the ridiculous amount of debt both Blues and Soren have managed to accumulate. They're having to pay that down all the time. PB Head still hasn't secured his own stock despite the fact that he has very, very small amounts of debt. And he is just sitting on a very, very similar territory to Cubit. Uh, yeah. But Cubit has more of it. Cubit just plain has more. So he can use it a bit more effectively is what we're going to expect here. And that's why I expect him to be able to pull on through here. But it is Destroy Buyout. And as we've seen before, anything can happen in Destroy Buyout. Alright, Blues having purchased all his own stock, he's almost certainly going to be gunning for Soren at this point. 325 is about what he needs. Obviously, that number will change as stock prices fluctuate and debt goes up and down as we move through the game. Your stock is being Don't know exactly what PB means by that. Not going to try and interpret it until he clarifies, if he clarifies. So we're in sitting on a small amount of money. Blue's sitting on, well, significantly more. Blue's also having paid down some of his debt. He's back into that C rating. Don't know how he pulled that off with power unless he just paid it directly. But So it does look like... Soren will be able to possibly get the buy on to... Or sorry, Blues will possibly be able to get the buy onto Soren, but I'm worried that Cubit is just going to grab it out from under him. Soren having pushed to this off-world market makes things interesting. He is using it for water. Did Blues ever identify water as a strong shipment? It does not look like it. He is just chain-sending fuel the entire time. Definitely going to be cutting into his chemical production, but thankfully it cuts into everybody else's as well. Is anybody making steel... Yes, okay, PB Head is making steel. Thank you. $131 for that. At one point I looked over, steel was 150, iron was one. And I'm sitting here going, guys, seriously? Seriously? What are you doing over there? Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, Cubit still on no debt. This pleasure dome just churning away 320 a second. I mean, if we look at these other tiles, we could say that a reactor is strong right now, right? $200 for fuel, that a farm is reasonably strong, 175 for a farm, and yet this farm is making 215 with research. This reactor is making almost 200 without any research. And this this pleasure dome is at 320 a second. It's so good. It's so good. I just wanted to point that out for everybody. That that has been sitting there making Cubit a ridiculous amount of cash. Actually, you know what's nice about the pleasure dome in particular? We can open this up. By the way, I would love to see this implemented for other things as well. We're just interrupting the game very quickly so I can come over here. 
We're going to go over to Bradbury Entertainment, $153,000. And that has basically almost all been straight cash for Qubit from that one building so far this game. I have to question if the others have made that from their off-world markets. They probably have by now, but it's a lot harder to interpret the off-world market because of this ridiculous fuel price that's been getting in the way of blues, everybody else trying to send water, doing all those calculations can be a bit awkward and difficult. We're not surprised. Cubit very close to being able to make a purchase if he wants to, and I think he has a very obvious row of dominoes potentially to knock down. You take out blues, that gets rid of your expansive opponent, excuse me for that, who has a lot of tech. You take down... Soren afterward. You've gotten some of his stock, you bring him down, he was clearly kind of next in line afterward. And then that lets you very easily secure a lot of stock to bring down PB Head. The wrench in this is PB Head, it looks like, might be his single most successful opponent. PB Head managing to drag himself back into this one very effectively with his engineering labs making electronics, figuring out that steel is kind of good, managing to make that always a nice move for PB Head, and he has established an off-world market which is launching the correct resource of water. And so he's looking to be in a pretty good spot so far, and he might be the one that Cubit needs to bring down first. Blues has managed to pay off a lot of debt, also gets in the way of things. He's kind of keeping himself from winning this one, but he also just makes everything a bit more complicated. And Soren is actually electing to sell out of PB Head's stock, making himself less and less valuable for Cubit to buy. Easier to buy, but less valuable, so maybe Cubit will pass him on over. Definitely a reasonable decision, I think, out of Soren. If he needs that cash now, go ahead and take it. You're already in a position where someone could buy you just on a whim. Why not go ahead and do it? So this farm is not doing particularly well, and Cubit looks like he's losing some focus here. His off-world is mutinied, he's been hit by a virus, which is causing some problems, but not too bad. Given that he likely wouldn't want to transition it. Oh, yep, there you go. Definitely losing money from that virus at this point. It's not something pleasant for him. And he has a lot of territory he's not actually doing anything with. Stalling out a bit is Cubit. But still in a strong position with an absolutely ridiculous amount of money. So I wouldn't worry about him too much long term. PB Head also losing money in his reactors. Okay, there we go. Somebody has decided to sell down their stockpile of water they were trying to punish Cubit with. Maybe it was PB Head that was actually holding on to that. Oh, definitely an interesting decision, all told. Alright. Iron getting shorted out. Cubit, yeah, as you can see, he's he's still making money, but he's not in nearly the strong position that he was minutes ago. He's got all this territory sitting around doing nothing for an extended period of time. He did manage to get a hold of his off-world once again and push into a second one. And Cubit, one thing he does much better than a large number of other players is keep his engineering labs functional. As you can see, he has at least some tech done. I don't like the array that he's selected. I don't like the fact that none of it is steel right now, but at least he has the tech. So that's good. I believe he was the last one to push into engineering labs. And so he, as you can see, he's caught up to Soren very nicely on his one. PB Head as well, he is, looks like he's ahead of, although PB Head may have selected slightly better techs. It's hard to call. All of this electronics production, this is quite a lot of it. Very, very easy to kind of overload the market when it comes to electronics in a four-man game. And as you can see, Soren is also elected to make electronics this game. So, not as strong a position for PB Head. Whereas Blues, sitting back here, he's managed to pay down his debt. He still has some of Soren's stock bought up, which is important. And he's just working on pushing forward at this point. Also has a fair amount of tech done. I like his spread a bit better. He has this glass done, for example, that's important. And he has this steel done. And as you can see, that's making a silly amount of money right now. And it was better just moments ago. Alright, somebody figured out who Cubit was. That should have been obvious, quite frankly, from the found. I've only ever seen Cubit make that opening and have it actually work. Yep, PB Head's made all the guesses correctly. Not sure what that means to him. Yeah, Blues knew it with the level 1 Geo. 
<laughs> Blue's saying that he's fairly sure, or sorry, Cubit's saying he's fairly sure he wants to buy PB Head. That does seem like the correct decision at this point, after all's been said and done. PB Head currently sitting on about $500,000. Blue's is next in line with less than two, so PB Head is the immediate threat for Cubit to eliminate. He is very close to being able to do so, sitting on 100% right now, in fact, if he just sold down enough of his resources. Cubit not willing to make the control shift down buyout in order to make that happen. He could have also likely just cancelled one of his fuel launches and gotten it done, but when it finishes, that should go ahead and be the end for PB Head. But still, are you going to actually make the purchase, Cubit? I mean, come on. There it is, finally. Cubit gets that buy done, but, but, this is not necessarily a great position for Cubit to be in. He's definitely in a strong place. But he certainly has to worry that one of his opponents could knock him down. He's still sitting on $140,000. Very successfully actually making money at this point. With his ridiculous amount of tech. And of course the very, very high price of silicon. Those are both working in his favor at the moment. As he's the one with real silicon production going on. As you can see... These silicon tiles with slant drilling are probably the best money makers on this map at the moment. Maybe even better than an off-world market. Now, Cubit has tied himself to fuel once again. All these players making this mistake. Tell me someone is sending water. Soren is sending some water. Thank you. Oh, man, guys. You gotta pay attention to that water price. Sometimes it's just so good. Definitely a problem. So Soren the one taking the advantage with the off-world market, and I think you can see it in the fact that he has managed to successfully pull himself up to $300,000 from almost nothing. But he is launching both fuel and water, things just looking a bit awkward. He doesn't want to pick between the two or have to pay too much attention, is basically what it comes down to. But I think more attention is certainly required here this game. Blues is the one who can threaten, potentially, to buy out Cubit. He is sitting on more cash. He's making a decent amount of money as well. He is overloaded, which is kind of cutting into his power, but he's not going to worry about that too much, I don't think. It's not pleasant, but it's not the end of the world either. By the way, overloads could have been used very effectively against Cubit when he put down Steel early game and actually just killed him right then and there. Might have been a nice decision from these two players. Regardless, that time has obviously come and gone. Don't really like this overload, although I guess it kind of worked out considering there was this goon squad positioned here, and of course, overloading an off-world market is absolutely ridiculous. Now, this is only affecting Blue's water, not his power. So the overloads, I don't know if everybody's identified that this costs him water because he has cold fusion this game. But it is definitely important detail that that is the patent that Blue's managed to get to. Now, all that said, Cubit is still managing to make an absolutely ridiculous amount of cash. Silicon definitely carrying him through. He managed to get down two additional off-worlds. All of them are launching at this point, well, the ones that aren't rebuilding. They're still launching fuel, but the fuel price has been coming down, so those get better and better by the second. And I don't think quite enough is being done to keep P Cubit from getting to the buy that he wants, which is going to be on blues, I would expect. That will set him up in a very strong position with a very high stock price. And I doubt that Soren will manage to push to the money he would require to make a purchase before Cubit managed to push to both of them. As you can see, Blues could purchase Soren at any moment, but he is wanting to push for PB Head as far away as that might be. Blues is only about halfway there. This should be, sorry, Cubit's game to win. I say PB Head, he's, his name is up there, guys. It's. I'm sorry. It's the best I can say. I'm sorry. Blues also just lost an absolutely insane... No, did he actually make the money from that? Well, regardless, he bought Soren, which will allow us to end this game just a bit faster when Cubit pushes to the buy on him. Blues is looking at nothing. Cubit, it actually speeds up the game. It doesn't delay anything. It actually speeds it up. Don't be ridiculous here. Blues is just doing you a nice little favor in letting you buy both people at once so that you can go ahead and take this game. Guys, you have got to punish Cubit. Seriously, it's Cubit. Don't let him do that. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right. 
That is going to be game number two going on over to Cubit in just a moment here. He has the money, he's got the button. And so Cubit and Soren are going to be the two with a lead looking to clean it up in game number three. PB Head and Blues still hoping to grab their very first win to keep and stay alive in this one. PB Head thought he had Nanotech. Yeah. Guys, you have got to punish those plays. Absolutely, absolutely. If somebody is on a patent office at HQ level 3, when you are HQ level 5, kill them, please. Just throwing it out there. Alright. Well. I do want to look and see if I go over to buildings, Qubit. $350,000 cash off that patent office. All right. Not much more to talk about there. We discussed most of it during the game. Qubit making his standard gambles, not getting punished for them in the in the FFA. Everybody else just, yeah, the word is impotent in the late game. Not making money successfully. Really no good reason for that, I think. Just very, very much so struggling to make money. Very awkward. Very awkward. I think debt, that early debt, because Soren and Blues got locked into this combat with each other, I think that early debt is what really took them down long term. If Soren had had the foresight to move into teleportation with his patent office. If Blues had just not built a patent office. When he was so far behind in those techs. In the patent office. If they had just attacked their opponents instead of trying to build on themselves. I think they would have set each other up for victory. Or set themselves up for victory. But instead they were kind of like lazily attacking each other while setting up for later in the game. And then being forced to pay down a large amount of debt, and it just, it wasn't going to work. And then PB had, of course, stuck behind on robotic, never a position to be in. There were really no advantages for him to exploit this game. I think it may have just been a weak found for PB head, combined with having his geotherm taken away. So, very, very awkward. Alright guys, we're going to get out of here and move on to game number three.